distillator is a continuous, self-sustaining process. In this process, 65 tons a day of municipal solid waste is converted into the heat equivalent of 3,000 gallons of fuel oil every 24 hours. The waste is not burned, but is broken down by destructive distillation. The waste that is fed into the system is reduced in volume by 90%. The system you're about to see is located within the Markal paper mills in Elmwood Park, New Jersey. Pyrolysis, or chemical decomposition, is a part of the destructive distillation process which takes place when organic matter is heated in an oxygen-free atmosphere. The organic matter chemically decomposes into clean burning volatile gases and char residue. The absence of oxygen within the retort guarantees that no combustion can take place. Waste is never burned or incinerated in the process. The waste distillator is a modular system designed with expansion capability. One unit can process 65 tons of municipal solid waste per day. Ten units can process 650 tons per day at a centralized site. These same units can be installed in smaller groups at several sites around a community to eliminate traffic problems and hauling distances. The basic prefabricated modular unit is assembled and factory tested prior to shipment. Shipment is made by standard highway trailer truck to the installation site. This portability reduces installation time and expense. The fuel produced is a clean burning gas. This gas can be piped directly to a standard boiler and burned in conjunction with any existing fuel. The system operates on 15% of its own produced gas and does not require an outside fuel source to sustain the process. Incoming waste is shredded to uniform size. The rotary shear shredder has been found to be ideal in this application. Objects such as engine blocks, hot water tanks, and tree stumps must be separated from the waste stream. After shredding, the waste passes to a live bottom storage bin. This bin weighs refuse and feeds the waste distillator at a predetermined rate automatically. This storage bin will supply feedstock for an 8 hour period. As the waste is emptied from the bin, it will pass through a magnetic field, removing the ferrous metals. The waste is then transported to the rotary dryer. The dryer has one major moving component. It is a steel tube 35 feet in length and 4 feet in diameter. This tube is enclosed in an insulated steel oven. The dryer is installed over the distillator. The discharge from the dryer passes directly into the feed ram of the distillator. Only waste heat is used in the drying process. Waste heat from the distillator heats the dryer oven. 
biomass is never directly exposed to the hot exhaust gases. As the ram forces the waste into the retort, the waste compresses into a semi-solid plug, thereby creating an airtight seal. The distillator is similar in design and construction to the dryer. The major moving component of the distillator is a steel retort tube 32 feet in length and 44 inches in diameter. This tube is also enclosed in an insulated oven. After the waste has been forced into the retort by the ram system, destructive distillation begins to take place in the oxygen-free atmosphere of the retort. The waste continues to decompose as it moves slowly through the rotating retort to the discharge end of the system. Once the system is manufacturing sufficient gas to support the heating process, the main burner system automatically turns on. The main burner system utilizes about 15% of its own manufactured gas to sustain the gasification process. The interior temperature of the distillator retort is continuously monitored. Gas that is not required to sustain the operating temperature of the retort is drawn off and burned as fuel in an industrial gas burner. This gas can also be burned by itself or fired in conjunction with other fuels. The flame that you see is contained within a standard water tube boiler and is produced solely by the destructive distillation process. The result is high pressure steam ranging from 10 to 15,000 pounds per hour depending on the composition of the refuse. After volatile products have been extracted from the biomass, the sterile char is removed from the distillator by a hydraulic ram. At this point, 90% of the original volume of waste has been eliminated. This sterile residue can be safely landfilled. The waste distillator has a multi-purpose mission to dispose of municipal solid waste from virtually any source and to operate as a resource recovery system producing an environmentally safe, clean burning fuel.